Hi, welcome to our home. My name is Anne, and I just wanted to show my appreciation to those who have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. And in order to uh, show my gratitude, I just wanted to take you on a tour of our home. This is our office slash studio. Um, my husband works from home, and this is where I store all my supplies for painting and crafts and art. And it's just uh, a nice blue color. So it's a nice space to work in and be surrounded by. This is my husband's Lego collection. This giant armoire holds a lot of my supplies, so it's been great. And with it being painted the same color as the walls, it just blends in and doesn't feel as big. And I also painted this big bookshelf the same blue. And I intend to paint my husband's side. I just haven't done it yet. We kept the opening to the room really large, um, but we can close it off with these big barn doors that we had made. When we renovated, uh, we actually opened up these stairs. So it used to be closed in with a wall and there was a closet there under the stairs. Um, so we had those taken out and um, built these. So it feels much more open when you walk into our home now. The flooring from the front door to the fireplace is um, consistent. So we have a light wood flooring and then some slate tile. This section of the home is the original home. And then beyond the fireplace is where we added an addition. We renovated this side in 2020. This used to be a bedroom and we just um, added the tile on the floor and cabinetry and cubbies to make it a really functional mudroom space. When I designed this room, I drew a picture with six cubbies and my husband looked at it and said, where's my cubby? <laughs> and he was right, all of us should have a cubby, so there are eight. This is our guest bathroom and we had a vanity here and all we did was just change the countertop and we added the paneling on the walls and this clawfoot tub. And this also used to be a bedroom, uh, so we just devoted it uh, just to laundry. So we put this sink in, which was actually our old kitchen sink, and we put it on a table that I got from a garage sale. And I chose this pot filler to use as the faucet. All of our linens and cleaning supplies go in this armoire. And we have butcher block counter over here and some hanging space. Besides this room being so functional now, I just love the paneling and the dark color. We used to have laundry baskets all along our hallway wall. <laughs> 
because we just didn't have anywhere to put it. So just having a place for everything to go has made such a difference. And now this room is so cozy, which I never thought I would say about a laundry room. In these barn doors we had made, we left the top area just glass, so it lets a lot of light through, which helps to keep our front entryway really bright, as well as keeping the office area bright too. The stairs lead to my mother-in-law's part of the home. So this pantry area used to be the laundry room. Um, so now we have an extra fridge, an extra sink, microwave, and we can make coffee in here and leave the toaster out all the time in the kettle. So it just helps to keep the main kitchen really uh, simple and not cluttered. And the door you see leads to the furnace area. And our room is really simple. Um, we actually took the closets out and added a large armoire and pretty big uh, furniture and dressers to store everything. Um, but it just opened up this room quite a bit. But we still managed to squeeze in two dog crates. The window on this side is to let more light into the bathroom. When we removed the closets from our bedroom, we gained extra space in our bathroom. I drew this picture on the wall in figure drawing class at art school and it just reminds me of a mother just sitting by the bath watching her children and I just thought it was really sweet. This medicine cabinet, I got it from Ikea and I just painted it white and it stores a lot of things which keeps the clutter down in here. This is where I spend most of my time in this cozy living room kitchen area. My mom gave me this dresser and it used to be in our front hallway um, when I was growing up. So it's special and I really love it. The design for the kitchen was inspired by one of 
the Fixer Upper episodes um, where Joanna Gaines did a craftsman remodel for a, a couple that owned a coffee house. And I really liked the wood range hood with the open shelving. And the island has a lot of storage, so we're able to tuck the microwave in there. And on the other side, there are six big drawers. So there's a lot of storage in here, even though we do have the open shelving. At the time, I really wanted concrete countertops, um, but people kept talking me out of it. <laughs> so I ended up getting this gray quartz, just so it would look similar to concrete. And the counters on the stove side are quartz as well, um, but I did them thin, so they, they're they white and they have some gray veining, so they look like marble. And with everything being very neutral in here, the green pantry really livened things up. The steps lead to the addition. And this was all my husband's vision. He wanted tall ceilings, like a great room with beams, and so this is very open and bright. Although this nook right by the fireplace is still pretty cozy, um, we have a table where the kids can play games and a piano. I got this piano for free on Facebook Marketplace and I just painted it. All the kids play piano, so it gets a lot of use, and it looks pretty. There are two kids' rooms here, and a closet in between. In this big open area, we call the dance floor. Don't mind the music equipment in the corner. We had our church over on Sunday and we just haven't put away the equipment yet. And these big windows, uh, they let so much light in and just being in this room just lifts your mood. And this is where all of our family gatherings are. Uh, this table extends from 9 feet to 12 feet, so we can all gather around. The stairs lead up to a loft and the other set of stairs lead down to a basement area where we have uh, like a common room with a TV and some music equipment. And the older boys have their rooms down there.
and the loft area has sort of evolved from a toddler playroom into more of a teenage hangout. And the adults have fun up here too. This is usually where we end up whenever we have family or friends over, we'll be up here playing games. And the seating area is made from two IKEA couches and my husband sandwiched them together so we'd have one long couch that would fit that space. And the girls and I had fun. We thrifted um, some things in here, the mirror, uh, one of the side tables, and this dresser in their closet, which I think turned out so cute. And I made this faux fireplace with a chalkboard at the bottom. Again, inspired by Joanna Gaines, she had something similar in her girls' room. In the little boys' room, I recently redecorated and I added some curtains and some matchstick blinds. And since we decluttered a lot of clothes and toys, the room just stays really nice and simple and calm for them. Thank you so much for coming along for this tour of our home here in Ontario, Canada. Um, I appreciate all of you who have been watching my videos and have subscribed. It just has made my day every time and has motivated me to keep going. And I have lots of more decorating ideas planned for this year so i hope that you will come along and I, again i really appreciate you showing interest in my little <laughs> place here that we've created for our family